Is there well, a we pre-show when there's no I, show? I don't know if there's really a pre-show when there's no show. They're just, you know. Cool. Yeah. I'm a Lena's black on. box. Hi, Lena. I'm a black box. That that's that tracks. I'd say. Yeah, Kaz is a black box. You probably have the old stream from Changed. when he had to go away yeah, and yeah. came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I gotta put. Hey, there we go. Dolly in. Yeah, the two Shadow Alley people are both black boxes. I'm not going to draw mm. any conclusions <laughs> there. Mm. It's interesting, though. Mm. Are we getting murdered? MBK, <laughs> 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 murder, death, kill. Ta-da! Everyone's here and happy and doing great. What if someone snuck up behind you with a photo on their phone? <laughs> Ooh, moms are here. Hi, Mom. I think we should put it to a chat vote. Uh-oh, what are we voting on? I missed something. Oh, the, uh, I think the that's, Kev- that's coming the as Kevin a hard picture. Note. We probably so, should vote on what should be behind you, Zafo. We have to. We have to decide. Mm-hmm. Hello, that. everyone. Welcome, welcome. This is our wrap-up show where we have finally finished our first campaign. I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Um, and we will start our next one in January. We are going to have some mini sessions, which will be very exciting. And uh, Kevin Petway is going to be in charge of those. And we're going to take advantage of um, in, in inspiration from um, J.D. Astra's world that she built in the... I get your two books confused, and I don't Monster. know why. Monster Haven. Thank you, Monster Haven. I don't know why I do that, but I get them confused. Um, Monster. I think it's because they came out about the same time, so they're in my brain about the same time. They did, yeah. yeah. They yeah. were like two weeks apart. See? The <laughs> last book and the first one of the new series. Yep, yep, that's why. So I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Um, so uh, we're going to take inspiration from Monster Haven, because that is where Dolly's character um, is from. Um, of course, deviated as we played, because that's what happens. But um, so it will be inspired by Monster Haven. So that'll be fun. Um, so we shall be doing that starting the first Monday in November. I totally should be prepared to know what that is. The 7th. It better not be a TPK. I am <laughs> rooting for Teo's Redemption Arc because I want to fight a goddamn chaotic evil god at the end of season five. <laughs> wow, this, this is the long, the long plan. The That's right, long, she's I'm ready. Going for the long plan here. Don't Are you an outliner? For that battle, but I will be. <laughs> I will be whether Dolly is or not. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome, awesome. So we want to talk a little about, and please, if anyone has any questions, please make sure to put those in the chat. Um, this is kind of a wrap up to see some of us are brand new at this. Uh, some of us have been playing for decades. And um, so we have many different levels of experience, um, you know, all writers, all in the publishing industry. So it was just really, really fun to be able to do this as Dolly's the first one I heard say it when I when I uh, interviewed you on 20 questions. But this like collaborative storytelling kind of thing, mm-hmm. which is definitely what it feels like. And I love that because it was a lot of fun. Um, so we have a lot of different experiences. We have fun things to share. But as you come up with questions, please let us know. We would love to answer them. I have a um, question. I have a question I we too. can write down too. Oh, okay. Uh, favorite moment. Oh yeah, I definitely have that one. No okay, doubt. Okay, I was like, <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll get that. But let me ask one first, and actually, we could do that second because that's fun. The first thing I want to do is, why did you say yes? Why did you say yes when you were called and we were like, hey, you want to do this? And you were like, yes, yes, I do. What call somebody asking? out, Kelly. <sighs> you want hey. me to call people? Do I have to be in charge of this too? Yes, yeah, everyone's saying the moderator. Yes. Yeah. All right, well, I will start. I, oh, well, if I'm moderator, I'll answer questions. So, Petway, why did you say yes? Okay, so you do have to answer this question since I was the one who asked you. Good point. I said <laughs> yes because I was scared to say no. Okay, next. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We got to unpack that. <laughs> no, no, it's really that simple. <laughs> what do you mean you were afraid? That's, Why we I afraid? don't like to disappoint people. I'm a people pleaser and it gets oh. me in trouble all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's why. It's really, it's really that simple. And I, I will say at the very beginning, I wanted to pull my hair and I was ready to quit everything and never do this again. And by the end, I was like, this is pretty fun. So, you know, and that is, by the way, why I like to say yes. 
Because if I had my true choice and just my true personality, I would say no to like everything. Um, but so I have to force myself to say yes, because then I will have some fun. Um, but yeah, that's my answer. Okay, All right. that's good. Is that good? Well, then, Pat, we'll have a different question for you. So, Zafin, what, why did you say yes? I have to um, change your name now. It's going to be hard. Fair enough. Uh, why did I say yes? I mean, you're going to change it to Zafin now? Sorry. <laughs> Zafo, <laughs> why did you say yes? <laughs> uh, why did I say yes? Man, uh-huh. uh, I, I played way back in the day um, poorly, you know, like as a high school kid. And you know, it's it's been something that's always been on the list. Is yeah, let's 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 play some B and D. We've tried like multiple times and just never really came together like this has. Dave, how about you? Uh, I was hoping to leverage it into a book deal. <laughs> hey, I work. tried. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I think the I think the the path is no longer book deal. It's uh, animated series, right? That's that's the path. <laughs> right, that's right. Started. It's a new path. Yes. Right. Yes. But you have to be prepared um, to do your own voiceovers. I mean, right. since there, there were a couple of things that were interesting to me. I mean, similar to Kevin, I had not played since I was very very young, and I really enjoyed it back then. Uh, it was an opportunity to hang out with Kelly and Greg, who I knew well, but it was also an opportunity to meet Kevin Petway and and Jess Rainey, who I did not really know at all. And that was exciting. And it scared me. And anytime something scares me, I usually want to do it because then you do things that you haven't done. Yep. I thought I would be way better at it than I ended up being for whatever. <laughs> Says the guy we basically based the entire campaign on. I okay. hate every yeah. minute of that, but yes. It's what you get for writing a short story all about your character before we start. Um, Jess Rainey. Um, I also had played uh, not very long ago. I played with some kids and I really enjoyed it because it combines everything I love, like problem solving and um, video games. And, and it, feel, it feel, felt like that to me. And I was a big fan of the uh, Knights of the Old Republic star wars game which is basically star wars DLC. oh yeah awesome and i didn't realize it until i had been playing with you guys for a while i'm like oh my god i mean i knew it but you know what i mean like i didn't even understand all the stuff in the game um but i think i, I think it also scared me and also i don't know where else like i could get this many weird animals and do petty crime <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome greg how about you um honestly i never well in high school a couple friends and i we played not dungeons and dragons but some other like tabletop stuff but we didn't really follow any of the rules we just sort of you know made it up as we went and uh we had a blast but anyway i never really played dungeons and dragons and i always wanted to so this is just like it was an easy yes for me because i just was like i've always wanted to do this and i've never had the opportunity to really play it in like a structured semi semi serious way so uh for, for me it was like the didn't you didn't even take half a second to think about it so you thought we were structured i love it okay uh <laughs> just astra now you were the last one on board and we asked you last minute and you didn't know any of us except dave a bit so why did you say yes um well reason number one is that i love dave uh, and I'm a people pleaser too. And I'm like, See? I don't want to disappoint Dave. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm a long time player. I've played a lot, but I mean, I, I had like a two year campaign going this one time uh, when I worked at a game studio and it was awesome. I remember like every week we would take a two hour lunch on Wednesday and, and play our campaign. It was just awesome. And, and I just, I miss that feeling so much. So yeah. Well, we are very I, I, glad that all of you said yes. I think just being here also took some pressure off Kevin Petway as the, you know, like sole big veteran player to have another person here who like had comfort level with the game and could. I mean, I'm still frequently wrong. <laughs> I'm yeah, I mean, no me one's too. wrong and we're fine it's fun it's fine um so kevin petway so for your question then because this was your idea and if i remember correctly when you first brought it up i was like well that sounds like a lot of fun um let me see if i have time and next thing i knew we had a logo um so i'm wondering why did you want to do this it feels like you were hustled <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe, maybe a little. 
Um, so, uh, for me, a lot of it sort of revolved around um, COVID um, because I used to play at the game store every week, uh, you know, and had like a regular crowd that I hung out with there. And we stopped doing it. And, um, and none of us were, um, we, what we've got here doing it online, it didn't work with us, I guess, because we, we were, we were game store, uh, gamers. And so the computer thing didn't, I mean, we tried it for a while, but also we had some people in there that, that, that didn't, didn't fit very well in, uh. You know, and and for them it was an excuse to sit and and drink and smoke pot and and it the gaming itself just kind of fell apart. <laughs> just, um, <you> don't <laughs> <laughs> just is making the best faces right now. <laughs> so I mean, sorry, but I have been high and drunk for most. Of the <laughs> time. <laughs> yes, but did you need this as an excuse? <laughs> No, no. See, there not. you go. I would get up with any excuse. Yeah, but you're not obnoxious, and that's really the difference. Aww. That's my job. Aww. Right. <laughs> um, so, also, the other thing that I'd always wanted to do is play a game with um, other writers that might approach it sort of more similarly to the way that I was coming at it, which, you know, there are, there are tactical gamers, there are power gamers. Um, you know, the, there's a lot of different things that people get out of D and D. Um, but I'd never sat down with a table full of storytellers. And I really wanted to try that out and see how that worked. And that's been amazing. I was, I was telling Kelly, uh, at the end of the last session that, um, that this game was everything that I was looking for in a in a D&D game. It was really what I was wanting and what I was hoping for. And it's just because everybody um, has engaged with each other, uh, not just on, you know, it's not about rules. It's not about tactics. It's about the relationships and about uh, the story. And that's amazing to me. I, I, I think it's fantastic. I love it. I am having such a wonderful time. And I'm so glad that I did not know in the beginning how this was going to affect Kelly, because I probably would not have asked her to do it if I had understood that. <laughs> and uh, so I'm, I'm glad I didn't know and that we, we managed to get past all that and get to where everybody's having a good time. Had to happen eventually. All right, so let's next. Fun first. Sorry, just a fun first campaign. It's been it's been great. I've I've played with people before who are just like, well, that's the rule, and I'm like, well, that's dumb because what I wanted to do is cool. Right. <laughs> well, that does lead me right to the next question, right? So the one that you started with, Dolly, where it is, uh, because one of my favorite moments is one that you were in. So I want to know what was a favorite scene. So it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be the, but at least a favorite scene. So I let's start. Go ahead. We're thinking of the same scene. <laughs> Maybe. Go ahead. What's your favorite scene? Uh, the one where I Captain Jack Sparrow blast my way across. <laughs> oh the hell yes, that was <laughs> awesome. The yeah. mast. <laughs> that was my favorite too. I loved it. So good. It was call. really fun. It was definitely not a legal move, but very fun. <laughs> oh, they say I'm DM, I'm God, so it was totally legal. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Totally works. Yeah, we have a, in our game, we have a cool factor. If it's cool and you roll high, you, you can do it. <laughs> and Absolutely. both of those things happen. So it was perfect. The, the actual name for that cool. is the rule of cool. Yes, oh. the rule of cool. I like it. I like it. It's quoted often at Shadow Alley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we do a lot of pop culture references, yeah. I'm telling you. We're like D&D &D via Dresden Files, right? Like, it's pop culture all over us, and I think it's hilarious. But so favorite moments, good call, Dolly. I love that one, too. Um, how about Greg? What's your favorite moment or a favorite moment? Oh, there's a bunch. I enjoyed, uh, I mean, 
this is people are going to be mad for me for stealing this one, but uh, the the play, of course, was a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Lars play. play. Yeah. Um, that's that's a low hanging fruit one. Um, <laughs> the play underwater. Yeah, that I, was. Awesome. I also I, I will also add for on a more uh, I guess character based moment. I I was very I, I thought it was very cool when after my horrible betrayal um, of the entire party, um, uh. The uh, Master Fault's frenemy Dolly was the one who sort of stepped up and defended him. And that was a cool, it was one of those cool character moments where it wasn't necessarily what you would expect to happen, but it also felt like earned from all that had come before, um, which is exactly what you want in a story. You want it to be what's surprising yet inevitable for another pop culture reference, right? Um, right, yeah. So I, th- I thought that was very cool. And I enjoyed uh, playing off Jess with that. And, um, uh, that was an extremely stressful episode for me. <laughs> it turns out that for us too, on the record. <laughs> it turns out that betraying uh, everyone with your character is a lot more fun when you're doing it to readers who you don't have to watch experience it. And, then, yeah. and, and look at you and be like, "Why, Craig? Why?" And like, or or uh, trying the the worst part was actually everyone in the chat and all of you guys trying to figure out like maybe this isn't what it looks He's like. He's mind controlled. Maybe he's yeah. actually still a nice guy. And I'm like, no, right. no, it's just <laughs> awful. <laughs> so anyway. I love it. That was fun. Who knew that, you know, stealing someone's blanket would end like that. It's yeah, just yeah. incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Dave, what was, what's a favorite moment of yours? Well, a couple, a couple have been taken. So I'm actually, mm-hmm. uh, I don't like, I have a favorite moment, which is reasonably early in the campaign when we had Zapho be a secret agent. And oh, like, uh, and he was horrible <laughs> at it, and it was yep. freaking great. He was so bad. Zapo's inability to give a straight answer to anything, which I suspect is more of a Kevin trait. Yeah. Uh, we'll oh, see. that was mine. That, was that's that. super, super <laughs> funny. But the other thing I really liked was all the stuff with Val and and her dad. Oh and yeah. Just how everywhere we went, Val knew all the underworld people, and like literally every location we went, she had underworld connections ready to tap. I always found that really, really funny. <laughs> That's awesome. So, Val, what was one of your favorite moments? Um, definitely the completely incompetent play on purpose. Yeah. So yeah. that was really funny, and it was fun to do too. Um, <laughs> and definitely Greg's. Flippity floppity. I I love a good betrayal, and it, okay. everybody was just like flabbergasted that didn't know that was coming. I was like, what, what? Um, <laughs> and when you put your black hat on, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you switch from the cowboy hat to the black hat. I'm like, yeah. oh, he's seriously bad. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. All right, Petway, how about you? Well, I was gonna say. Every time uh, Zafin got asked a question about anything, um, <laughs> that was that was maddening. Because, that wasn't fr- that wasn't fun. That was frustrating. Well, at first it was frustrating, and then it just became so expected that yeah. it, it it just started making me crack up every single time it happened. Um, let's see. Uh, it was that I I really. About the time your ass I, flattened me. Yeah. Hmm? Is that what was about that? the time your ass flattened me? <laughs> sure, that felt pretty great. <laughs> so I didn't have anything flattened. to do with that. Kelly just says, "Oh, you fall down. Oh, you flattened. You flattened Dolly. You rolled poorly, and she was behind you. <laughs> I have no power over that. It's called physics." <laughs> there was also that time anyway. really early on. Where we were trying to do, we were trying to do something, and everybody kept rolling and just falling down because oh, the yeah. rolls. Oh, yeah. Really oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was like was Keystone Cops in yeah. mud. Yeah, there was something we were even... all trying to pick up, and like all of us kept dropping. It. Oh, I, I remember, remember it very well. Was, I'll yeah. clarify, if Zafin. Zafin, what's your favorite? Oh, my favorite. Uh, mm-hmm. My favorite is right at the end um, when uh, uh, which one? The daughter. Vandalia? Vanashan? Vanashan. Of course I got it backwards. Uh, That's when, okay. I did when too. Vanashan was in the fire and just everyone was like, oh shit. Ah, ah. Yeah. 
top yeah. secret. That was your DM going, I don't have a god prepared to fight. Wait, I know. <laughs> oh, that Actually, is... that that was that was another moment that I really liked was when Zaphon popped off that fly spell. Um, because that it was it was just a didn't even know he had it. B perfectly timed, and uh, yeah, that that was that was kind of right. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it felt like a really great moment. So, yep. And the scene everyone's talking about, I forgot that one was really fun at the very beginning. It's the one um, Spike was talking about when Odmar turned into a shirt. Oh lord. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that that was... was the one where everyone was. You mm-hmm. were trying to get from Rylan. You were trying to get that medallion that he had. Yeah. So everyone yeah. was trying to get it, and everyone was rolling so poorly. So I had to make up some new way. You fell over something. It was seriously hilarious. <laughs> so and then yeah, Odmar oh, thinking he was a shirt was pretty darn funny. But also that scene where Masterfall is like pretending to be the salamander god, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any yeah. time yes. we made him I pretend to be any any authority, like just yeah. pretend an authority guy, <laughs> lie. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just always, whenever he was trying to do that, I always saw, like, Steve Martin in my head. I'm a wild and crazy god. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like we should have known with how good he was at deception this whole time that he was pretending to be other yeah. people. And he kept <laughs> being. <laughs> right. These other people were like, maybe we should maybe we should worry about who this guy actually is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all have no idea how much Greg and I um, stressed about how this was going to go. <laughs> and I was like, we're just going to let the dice decide. Greg's like, really? I'm like, yeah, it's D&D, right? He's like, are you sure? I'm like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and they did. They decided. Yep. <laughs> By the way, I'm writing my next three books that way. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we talked about, you know, favorite scenes and emotional, meaningful things. What about, was there something that you wanted to do with your character you haven't been able to do? Without spoilers, if you have anything that isn't spoilers. Kill somebody. Kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you guys were too good. Like, like no one was ever really in any serious danger. I think there was one fight where Valtrex maybe got to half health. Yeah. Other, other than that, and, and oh well, that Greg almost bad. died, but that was on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> I wish uh, to heal someone. I guess for me, I, I've talked to some about this. I don't know if I've done it on stream. I know I've talked to people off stream about it. I, you know, I, when I created the character and wrote this whole deceptive backstory i was writing it from a sort of writing perspective and uh you know thinking oh this would be a great character to read in a book where you but i wasn't thinking if you have his pov and you can see what he's thinking it's very interesting conflict to be in but obviously that doesn't work in this kind of an environment where you don't know what my character is thinking and the whole nature of his deception is is that he has to be sort of as bland and boring as possible which doesn't make for entertaining viewing. So I guess in terms of things I would like to do is just like, I was sitting there kind of like, what do I do with this guy? Cause he's probably not that exciting to watch (laughs) and I can't, but playing him honestly, I should, he wouldn't be trying to get a lot of, you know, attention to himself or anything. So uh, just some thoughts of how I would approach it. uh, If I had to do it over again. I love it. Anyone else? Something probably like oh yeah, at, like shops and stuff. You could have been like looking for some like dark item, right? Like you could have called out some dark item that you're searching for. Maybe just like drop little hints here and there. That... Yeah, well, there were the books, and there's the books were specifically that was him looking for ways to get out of his pact. So that was uh... something smells hmm. on fire. I have oh. to go. Oh my myself. gosh! Nope, nope. Yeah, no. Take care of that. We don't want you to roll for that. All right, we're going to keep going and see how that all turns out. Um, anyone else? Uh, Jess, do you yeah. have something you want to do with your character you didn't have a chance to do? Um, not yet. I mean, I think we have some things going on for season two um, with Valtrex. And I probably want to actually play a character. I was just trying to collect as many animals as possible um, and cloaks. So I think I have a cloak now and I have some animals, but... I, I want to look at, you know, this is a darker character. Can I play that and also still have fun with it? And of course I can, but uh, I want to do some other stuff like that. And we've talked offline about that. So I'm hoping to write some stuff in the break and, and go from there. You're yeah, not running away, Dolly. So right. it's not the house on fire. 
Uh, yeah, the heaters haven't been on all season, and they just oh. ticked on for the uh, first time. Yeah, dust. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah. I panic every time. I'm always afraid we're going to die of carbon monoxide, too. I'm like, the batteries are on, right? We can detect carbon monoxide? No, I'm with you. I feel you. All right, Pat, wait, how about you for your characters? Anything? Yeah. Um, one thing that I really wanted to do that was really big was to save Ashanis's life. Mm-hmm. And it just couldn't happen you tried man yeah yeah i did everything i could um you know and i well i tried to think about it the way that udmar would think about it um but uh but boy yeah that was just ran right into a wall and uh it's it's going to be interesting to see how that uh how that affects him moving forward yep how about you, Zafin? Was there more gambling that you wanted to do? Was there? <laughs> well, I, I I did expect to, you know, do a little bit more gambling, and it just never quite felt right. Um, mm-hmm. it, knowing what I was doing would have been nice. Um... <laughs> hey, I didn't either, man. You just gotta make it up. Oh, you did I know, I know, and and I'm not great at uh, improv. So, yeah, that's why I didn't know what to say ever. Even if I gave him a script, but we won't talk about that. But we well, do think, I will say it's pretty amusing that Zekiel has already said more than Zafin did the entire oh yeah, last campaign. So I think we're going to see a completely different side of you next season. What do you think? I hope so. I, I think comfortable, I picked, ready to go. I, I think I Can chose I? poorly on uh, Zafin. You mean the I, quietest I, person who's kind of new to D&D probably shouldn't choose a bard? Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, you know, Pet Way meant this. We had no this. idea I, you were a freaking bard this whole time. I know. I, 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 I tried like a for what? a... I tried for a power character. I tried for a broken character. And, yeah, <laughs> it, it didn't work. <laughs> all good we are all learning that's what makes it fun all right what about our guest stars we had a bunch of guest stars on right <laughs> like we already uh, mom already came on she came on and she was Bertle uh Berta battleaxe and we had um aaron michael ritchie come on and played the dwarf that um was the um <laughs> the woodworker he was so funny yep. um was and literally collecting sticks when i was yes. like hey do you want a guest star really quick <laughs> and he's like yes <laughs> And then we had um, our son on, Xander. Xander was on, um, guest starring and playing. He played like three different merchants. He was so proud of his Beatles reference. He had a lot of fun too. So on the guest stars, um, what do you think about that? Do you think that worked? Do you think it didn't? Do you think we like want to keep doing that next season? What do y'all think? Uh, I'd love to see more guest stars. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, me too. And surprises. I mean, it would be fun to be surprised by them. Yeah, yeah. That would be hilarious. And we left out Dink Pittman. I mean, Dink yes. Pitt. Oh, yeah. Dink Pitt, yeah, I was going to say Steve. Steve, uh, Steve H&H came in as well. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I forgot about that. That's right. That's because I wasn't I was, here for that. I missed him. Yeah, that's oh, true. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he was great, though. He was great. He was great. I'll see if I can convince him. I'm sure I can convince him to come back on, except he does something else on Monday nights now, so we'll have to see. Um, but that'll be fun. Um Yes, so guest stars. So I will keep them in mind. So I'm sure we'll have some fun things. Maybe we'll have we'll have to have people like um, donate. You know, like what what are those the channel points things? Maybe they have enough channel points they can get a guest star. Oh, oh I can actually that? I can do yeah. a community challenge. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe we could do that, and we can you know they earn enough points that they could be a guest star on. I think that would oh, be fun. We have mean, like, an amazing an audience member. Yes, I mean, an audience member. I mean, we do this. This is the benefit to the way we do this, right? We just send them a link and they log on. Do you see? I, so we, we can actually make that work. That could be fun. What do y'all think? We'll have to see if sure. the audience is into it oh, or not. Sure. Yeah. Um, but that would be fun. And then we all have author friends. So we can keep with the writer thing and make sure we can get some more authors on too. So that that would be fun. Um, so we will keep that in mind and see what fun we can have. Um, I did like guest stars. Quite frankly, it took some of the pressure off me, so I don't mind that at all. Um, and then finally, what are you looking forward to next season? 
What do you want to see happen? I mean, like something big, like well, like you know uh, Jess was like, I want some animals. Five. I'm sorry. You know yeah, I we already know season, season five. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I wrote it down. We're good. <laughs> do you have something that you want to see? An audience, you too. Is there something you want to see next season? I, I hmm. have a very easy answer to this question, which is kind of, I shouldn't have joked to answer the, the last one about what didn't I get to do. I just want to have fun. I wrote a not fun character, and then I felt kind of committed to run that storyline out. And um, I would just like to just be silly and, and, you know, I tried to have fun with it as best I could. But, uh, you know, the core of his storyline was not particularly exciting. So his uh, storyline and his like the way that you played him, I think, made the story more engaging. Like, yeah. like Kelly said, almost the entire campaign was based around just anchored on it, <laughs> which is the you. exact opposite of what i wanted it is the uh, i thought i wrote a side character that would not be a big deal and ugh. but anyway, Shadis I, is the only one that got laid i mean come that on is true. I mean, by living person. that is true yeah. and I he was to... definitely the moral compass right like everybody yeah. else is like let's steal this or kill the, just kill that guy and he's like i'm not doing that i'm not doing that and you were consistent through the whole thing about that mm-hmm. so that was really it was fun to watch whether i thought it was funny and he was funny because he was curmudgeonly and you know but he's got all this stuff going on that you know maybe you wouldn't think of i mean you know, we just talked about the golden girls the elderly have awesomeness too right yeah that i definitely wanted to play an old guy for that reason that i wanted to like not just be you know all the young people going off and having fun but in general i'm just excited to take kaz and just be silly and have fun and not as she has no earth-shaking backstory she has no backstory at all she wants nothing she cares about no Wait, one. She, I'm sorry. She has no backstory at all. Her mom got murdered by one of the party members. She's fine with it. It's fine. <laughs> From one sad These tragic things backstory happen. to another. <laughs> no, and that's that was my one when Kelly asked me because I was gonna be, I was gonna be uh, Vonishan. Uh huh. And when Kelly asked me to do um, uh, uh, Captain Wyvern's daughter instead, the only thing that held me back was I do not want to do another dark depressed mm-hmm. character so she's just gonna have to roll with it and she'll deal with you it, nailed it though when you're like she was a paladin she died in battle that's what she yeah. would have wanted you yeah know, exactly like, she's good with it. i thought that yeah. was pretty cool and it's not like you guys were close she was away your entire child exactly right exactly. so yeah 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 and just to tip david if you write a five thousand word uh backstory for your character you are probably not writing the least interesting character in the in the group yeah well, mm-hmm. now I wrote zero, so I'll be <laughs> who's next? Who's me a, yeah. <laughs> I want to know who's sending me a short story. Um, uh, but yeah, so that that's awesome. So just have fun. How about you, Zafo? Um, I want to actually develop a consistent character that I can answer things for. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's literally just it. I want to just do. I want to get consistency. I, I want to get <laughs> comfortable with the improv and doing the, you know, adding on to the story. I, I, you know, I was I was not good at that in this last campaign, and I want to try to do better at that. And just be I think more, you're selling yourself short, but okay. Well, I want to be more, you know, be a part of it type deal. So I, I feel like I supported, and yeah, I had, you know, I had stuff, but uh, I, I wasn't confident enough, which is why you got no answers. Your boozy lyrics what? so far have been really great. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. That's all Google. I, I'll admit it's all Google. <laughs> How dare <laughs> man do it? It's yeah. picking the right one. I, you know, it's picking the that's right a skill. one. That's a skill. I would also yeah. say, like, maybe cut yourself some slack, because improv yeah. is hard. And yeah, uh, there's are. a there's a reason that you go to school to do it, right? Oh yeah. Like you literally yeah. go to Second City School to mm-hmm. be or mm-hmm. whatever the groundlings, and people study for years to do it. It's not as um I don't know natural as people think it is, right? So oh, I, I think don't sell yourself short. I think you did fine. No, yeah. I and I'm not you know I, I'm not beating myself up about this. I'm just saying that I think that was my my failing my my weak part. So just realistically, 
I think when choosing D and D characters, it's really important to pick someone who's a little bit outside of your comfort zone and does something that's a little bit not you. But pick like maybe one solid core value that you yourself embody, and then it becomes really easy to be that person. Because when you don't know what to say, just fall back on that one core value and do that. Yeah, beer. Exactly. He chose beer this time. He's gonna be fine. (laughs) (laughs) He's gonna be fine. If he's looking mine. for exotic hops in every city, you'll know why. <laughs> I was like, mine still is the same, you know? So, like, that's the core value I fall back on. Whenever anything gets, like, a little sketch, I'm just like, is one of my people in danger? Fuck whoever right. is putting that person in danger. Mm-hmm. Even, if it's the, <laughs> even if it's our own party. <laughs> I can still see the little naked gnome with an arrow out of his butt. I'm sorry, but that's for some reason, that is an image that sticks in my head. <laughs> I'm, I'm upholding the dignity of this character. <laughs> <laughs> so, Greg, what what do you want for your character next season? Um, well, I'm looking forward to having a better idea of how to play any kind of character and kind of respecting him with a new, hopefully, new patron, uh, and uh, just with a little bit better idea of how this kind of character works. And just from a character story perspective, it's going to be a huge relief not to have this like dark oppressive secret secret weighing him down the entire time and, and influencing how I can and can't make him behave. It gives me a lot more, a lot more options when I, when, when he doesn't have to sort of be hiding who he is all the time. So uh, a lot more character options and uh, ways to interact with other people. So, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll be the dark depressing one this time. Nice. <laughs> well, hey, your sacrifices came at the right time for the story, though. It totally worked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It totally worked. So, Petway, what do you want to do with uh, Odmar this season? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, two things. One is that Odmar is very much looking forward to hearing Greg's recaps. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, yes, yes. We have to talk about that. New things for next season. So, go ahead. Yeah. Um, other than that, um we never we never really delved too much into uh Udmar's backstory uh you know his background and i i don't necessarily think that it was it was all that necessary because he was kind of an open book i mean yeah he he had all that stuff happen to him and you know he kind of happened to some other people but it wasn't like he was hiding it um so, yeah, um, I mean, I do have some things that I want to that I want to get to that I I kind of don't want to spoil. Um, uh, yeah, no, yeah, no spoilers. But um, I I think for me, uh, you know, it's just it's just about playing around, not even with your own backstory. It's about playing around with other people's backstories, and 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 you know, as a group kind of getting into each other's shit. Um, and uh, I, I think that's a lot of fun. And I look forward to doing that every week. So that is that's that awesome. is always something that I want to do. I feel like we got really good tastes of Odmar's backstory. We never got the full deal, but I, I felt like there was always that flavor of his backstory through the whole thing, which is amazing how you were able to do that just by playing well he was definitely you know yeah character yeah oh yeah and and the the funny thing is is that all of those all of those little tastes that 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 did come along those are all actually included in the mechanics of the class there's rules for all of that crap and so i took all of that stuff and i said okay how can i make a story out of all this boring shit and and that's where the six snows came from and that's where um, you know, his, his accident back home with his, uh, um, uh, with his rage came from and, you know, and all of that stuff. Accident. Yeah, his, his accident. <laughs> accident. <laughs> the, the unpleasantness. So, yes. Jeff Astra, um, we got almost nothing on Dolly's background this season. So what, what do you see being explored in the next season? Again, without spoilers, but like, what, what, what do you envision? Um, I mean... So I, I feel like Dolly has been very 
flighty. I mean, like, my, my purpose was to be very chaotic, neutral this whole time. Like, I'm out for myself, and the reason I'm out for myself is yet unexplored by... I mean, like, all of you guys are, who've read Monster Haven kind of know the story of what happened to Dolly in, like, the universe that went right. But in the universe that went wrong, <laughs> like, what happened to her along the way? <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and so, I mean, like, I don't know. I, I, she has an opportunity now, since things have kind of been righted by Helm, to maybe return home. We'll see. Who knows? No one seems to really care about poor old Dolly and her crazy kookiness falling asleep in Odmar's backpack. <laughs> I think that's I the thought, fun part. It's all good. I think that was one of my favorite bits, actually, was the yeah, recurring yeah. bit of the backpack. Yeah, yeah. But just it, in general, it was the, mine, too. I, I, at least... I like Dolly grew this persona of just, why should I do a thing if someone else could do the thing for me? Like... Just, I really liked that about her. Why should I walk if I can sit in the back? Right, exactly. <laughs> Very reactive, right? Like, sure, it's like, should we do this? Should we do this? Should we do that? And the party's talking about it, and Dolly's like, I'm just doing this right now. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, wait! <laughs> Chaotic neutral, man. I'm just like, this sounds good for me. I'm going to go. <laughs> it was fun. It was really fun. And I do want to take a moment. Because all of this stuff is not possible without Kevin Colby make doing all the tech. So Yay. I do want to give a hand to Kevin Colby. We were talking about, you know, someone else DMing and, you know, doing this special. I'm like, you can do all of this without me. You cannot do any of it without Kevin Colby. So oh, yeah, we, we do. No, you are awesome. So thank you for putting all this together and making it look easy. Thank you, so, Kevin. Yeah, and thank you. oddly normal one for all of everything around all of us oh yeah 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 that's yeah huge. that is a good point you need some cool stuff oddly normal's the way to go man kevin petway so, with the freaking logo that started the whole damn thing i think when the logo came out it was like oh shit we really have to do this ah, now. we gotta do it now <laughs> we so can't good. waste this logo <laughs> do we get to ask kelly questions of course Oh, you want to ask me a question? Because I definitely have one. Well, real quick, before we get to Kelly's question, I do want to know. I yeah, want the audience to know. What, we what? didn't do. We didn't ask Jess what yeah. she wants to do next next campaign. This is Jess true. Rainey. Oh, we did not. Jess Rainey, please. Yeah. I had yeah, animals in my head. I'm like, she wants animals. Oh, we did. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, we yeah, did. Yeah, I think that was okay. like first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dolly has to dip soon. Exactly. So, um, like, real quick, I okay, want to get sorry. in next season um, that we are going to have um, Zafo again, since this is another awesome thing he set up, is that the audience is going to be able to choose the titles for these episodes. Notice mm-hmm. that we've just been calling them Writing Wrongs episode blah, right? So, there is a title thing. So, during the episode, if someone says something funny or something dramatic or something you like or, or you just think of something that represents whatever the heck it is we're doing, you're going to be able to put bang S space and then write the title in and then at the end the whole audience will be able to vote and it doesn't cost you points and you will be able to vote on which title you like the best nice um um who deleted somebody deleted i I typed bang s something cool and it deleted it oh it's because it's not active yet did you get it there you go oh it's there you go now it'll work no it's active you can actually go there and something cool will be listed on the list. Nice. Oh, so it just deleted it because that means it's on there? Yes. Okay, oh, well, we need to clarify okay. that. Otherwise, that's going to be very confusing. So um, maybe we'll... It said, did it not whisper you something? It doesn't matter, it though, because have... on our chat, we see deleted yes, by did. Cursed Dragonship. So it's going it to confuse did. people. It did whisper to me. So we're, we're just going to... We'll, we'll get it fixed by next season and work on it. But you'll be able to do the title, so that'll be fun. That'll be another way to participate. Um... Yeah, so that'll be fun. Um, and then I think we should do the guest starring thing. So we'll put a little chart down there to say how many points you have to do if you want to guest star. Um, and was there something else? Oh, um, quite frankly, I always said that I wanted to get um, Mikey Mason to do our theme. And then I never did it. And I never did it because I didn't know how long we were going to do this. And apparently we're not going to stop doing this. So I feel good about calling him back and having him do it. So I really want to get the theme song done. And if Dave is okay with it, I'm putting him on the spot right now. Do you see how I roll? Um, that Because I know you said last time that you could like put together just a little theme thing if I got the music. 
So yeah, what do sure. you think? Are you on board for that? All right, sweet. Yep. So we should next season, we'll have a theme and we'll have the audience vote on the titles. So that should be fun. Yes, and I wanted to call that out. So at, on the titles, you can actually vote for whatever title you think is best. So even if it's, you know, you threw something in and somebody else threw it, you're like, oh my God, that's the perfect title. You can vote for that title. And mm -hmm. within reason, we will use the, uh, the top title. And uh, when is the next season? The next official campaign when we start again for real is going to be in January, probably the second week. So everyone's back from vacation and whatever else is going on. Um, be right around the time when Kevin Petway's next book comes out too. Um, and so it'll, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be that second week, but we are going to do a mini session. So we're not going to abandon now for two months. So Kevin Petway is running a mini session because um, Master Fault slash Teo or penis toes, I'm pretty sure you call him Og, um, is going, he really does. Your, your name's penis toes for Og. I apologize. Uh, I know. No, I know. Yeah. I've... yeah. <laughs> That's, you've accepted this reality. So many images um... that are not good. <laughs> nope. Not good at all. <laughs> that, so that is going to, um, he has to find his new um, patron. So that's going to be the mini session that's running. I will actually get to play a character. So this is going to be fun. And then um, Kevin Petway is going to be the DM for that. So that will be in November. So that'll be fun. Um, but yes, awesome. All right. What was your question for me? Oh, my yeah. question for you. Yes. So uh, what, what thing did one of the players do that most threw you off what your plan was? What was the worst curveball we threw you? Oh, I mean, there were so, so many. So many. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's an excellent so question. So many, especially since I have no idea what I'm doing. I will say you finally saw like the true frustration at the end where I did everything to make you stay in port. <laughs> yeah. right? no, I'm like, no, you can't the leave. Sea a shot turns of that guy. We sand. have to have the new character. You can't leave. Yeah. So uh, since that was the most recent, um, I will go with that one for now. Um, I made yeah. this catch for you. You're going to play in it. <laughs> yeah. And the most frustrating thing for me is the DM period, something I'm trying to learn and still haven't gotten down, but I will, is that the reason he shot us never had to heal is because I was not very good at judging what y'all could handle and what you couldn't. Well, right? so I thought about this a lot. The party was very well constructed. And having the tank be the most experienced player allowed Kevin to really manage aggro mm -hmm. really well. And I think he's so he's impossible to kill. He mm -hmm. really demands that you pay attention to him. And because of that, I'm not I, I don't know. I put myself in your shoes. I don't know what I would have done because, you know, if you let him run free, he's just going to wipe out everybody you throw at him. But if you send your monsters at him, he just sits there and soaks up the damage while mm -hmm. all the, you know, Valtrex and, and, and Dolly and Master Fault and, and Zaphin just pepper everybody. I think higher int creatures next time will mm -hmm. allow you to be like, oh yeah, that's the tank. Oh, hey, there's the squishy mage. I'm going to go after that one. <laughs> like higher int creatures can, can like definitely discern and be like, me, fuck that guy. <laughs> and and as Kelly, as you can always... Higher. You can always watch while I murder everybody um, while I'm running. Well, you're running yeah. away? Mm. I'm not does no. run away. Having while no, when I'm DMing, running the when game, yeah. when I'm DMing. He's going to murder everyone. Yes, you can watch how I murder everybody, and then you can. And I'll take notes. Okay, yeah. Dolly has to go. It's yes, thank you so much. We're so glad you could be here. So thank you, thank Love you. you. guys. Have a good rest of your time. Bye. Bye, Dolly. Bye. 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 Have a happy Bye, afternoon. Yes. All right. Nicely done. Okay. So if y'all want to see how the title thing works, if you click, you want to put the show title thing up again? Oops. I have to spell it correctly. Files. You do have to spell it correctly. That's <laughs> not cool, down. <laughs> well, Og got it for me. So. Oh, but... Thank you, Og. Okay. So what do you, what do we do? You oh. click on that thing that Captain Wyvern came up on that link. The purple link. You click link? on the link, it'll pop up. Should be in another window. It will pop up the titles. Penateo should <laughs> have killed Odmar. <laughs> the Kevin and Kevin show. <laughs> Something cool. There you go. And season one wrap up. So then you can just, all you have to do is click on them and it'll do a vote. And then we'll be able to see what they are.
Um, sometimes it only lets you do one per household. Thank you. Like, you know, whatever your internet yeah, comes with. IP the... address. But yeah, Thank yeah. you. I was like, it's like IP or something. That's it. IP now means intellectual property to me. It does not mean internet <laughs> protocol anymore. So I'm, I, I just, I cannot do acronyms anymore. Well done. I got it right. Thank you. You got it right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so everyone can vote, um, and then we can get them. <laughs> But yes, that's, um, so that's how it'll work next to, season. You're going to have to find as many proxy servers as possible to stuff the ballot box. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we wisely learn from the using channel points fiascos of voting. Um, yeah, yeah. Not, not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's fun. So that's how that'll work next season. So are there any final words? I had one more question but, yeah. for the DM. I want to know what oh. NPC you most liked playing. I will say I did not like playing Captain Wyvern because <laughs> I did welcome. not, again, I'm new, right? So I didn't know. It was a, <laughs> it was a beginner mistake, I'm going to say, because to make the DM one of the main party members doesn't really work because then you really don't have free play. Yeah. Right. And I realized that pretty quickly, but it was kind of too late to turn around. So that's why I tried to make her not there most of the time, right? For some reason or another. Um, and then to try Greg to made her. Error permanently not there he, I was gonna did, say, he took care of the problem for me you're, totally you're welcome you're welcome <laughs> totally you know. worked. Uh, um sorry so, Kez, but you know. thanks for the murder right but i know <laughs> <laughs> i think the most fun was the weapons person who i'm not gonna remember her name right now who worked it like something bottom right the dwarf that worked for um val's dad who is in no. charge of the armory down there mm. she was Fun. I liked her. I can't long bottom. I think it was long bottom. Something bottom. Um, it, I have notes somewhere. Uh, but she, she, I think she was my favorite. I could have played her for a lot longer. But as I, we kept going, Lurchette's going to be a lot of fun. I have plans for her. So, mm. and oh, since y'all have, you know, ownership, because I tried to give you a place where you could be, right? That's why we had the inn. Right. So you had a room and then, but I kind of like the Island better. So now that you have part ownership yeah. in the Island, basically, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So I think Lurchette is going to be a lot of fun, especially with her budding romance with Vanashan. So that'll be interesting. Um, but I, I like, I think Lurchette will be my new favorite. So. There were two different characters and I think you're, I think you might be conflating them though, because I remember, I remember somebody's last name was bottom. Um, and then there was also a woman named Long Socks uh, that I have written down. Bandit Stooge works for Ryland down one nipple. Oh, that's the one <laughs> that you, yeah, that you tore the nipple off of. And I, I remember that because you look at your face was like, that's not what I meant to do. I'm like, well, it rolled. Sorry. <laughs> I, I specifically remember that. Kevin's like, that was not my intention. Like, I don't even think you said that out loud, but we could all see it on your face. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, I swear. Well, it was the dwarf. I swear it was long bottom because I also made her son be the armorer. Could be. I don't, I don't. Yeah. I remember, I remember there was, I, I thought I remembered two people like, like, like you say, a, a dwarf woman and their son. Um, yeah. But I didn't write those down. So I, anyway, I have, I have a question for the people in the chat. How many channel points do y'all have? Oh, yeah. Good question. Uh, almost 10,000. I have 27,000. I, I, have... I spent a lot of mine on voting. Yes. Right. Despite and accusing, you got lucky and anyways. <laughs> accusing me of stuffing the ballot is just projection. That's what you were doing. Yeah. Oh, I have 44,000. Her name is Top Bottom. <laughs> Top bottom. That's such a the name. The name. Right. The character names were a particular highlight for me. Yeah, yes. um, uh, Lurch as a uh... Sue Ellen, the elf. Yes. Oh God, yes, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> the, <laughs> the like all the elves from the southern United States, you know. Uh, <laughs> like... <laughs> right, what you know. Right, what you know. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 they were really just from one. from Dallas. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, they were the rich ones, so yeah. <laughs> they were very funny. Friday has. I like. I remember Sue Ellen because she was a gossip. Uh huh. That's exactly. Right. They always throw gossip at you, which I thought was very funny. 
Well, I guess that's fun. We should ask which ones that you like. So I guess you're already talking. Sue Ellen was one that you liked. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. What NPCs did y'all like? Hmm. I know it's hard to remember all the names. Like I said, I had to look up top bottom and I made them up. Well, and it's hard to pick one. I mean, we I already said that, Dink Pittman, that um, funny, Dolly uh, had the rivalry with. Yes, that was that guy was fun. Didn't he turn out to be? Oh, the dwarf wizard dude. Oh, yeah. I did yeah. not intend for him to be Ryland. Y'all actually put that together. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Just, Sounds yeah. good. That guy Shazam, died. Bam, he's he died all right. anyway, so he's he's, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked Vanishin. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And does anybody here remember what her other name is? She has another name. Mm-hmm. What is it? Coral. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's what he uh, Yeah. I enjoyed Ryland. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I got to where I actually, by the end, I really liked Captain Wyvern. Oh. I do say I was kind of sad when she died because I'm like, what are we going to do now? That's why I begged Dave to play her daughter because I thought that would then fill that gap. I I'm I'd have filling. to go with the, uh, 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 the the demigod, goddess, whatever in the tent. Who likes the books? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's, yeah. yeah, she's fun. And I like her too. God. There'll yes. be more with her next season too. I'm very excited. Yes, the god of butts. Uh, <laughs> well, I like the fact that you made him fart in the play, and then Helm thought it was so funny that he just farts now when he comes. So yeah. He was like, "You know, yeah. that is funny. I'm totally going to do that." <laughs> yes. Yes, I like that. It eventually, became canonical. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's canon. Awesome. So, awesome. does he fart when he comes, or does he fart when he arrives? Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you'd have to ask his so wife. Is there more. a wife for him? Does he have a wife? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a great note to go out on. I <laughs> You're not going to top that one. Uh, so I, I uh, do want to say, go ahead. There was a question in the chat. Yes. How will mm-hmm. we know when you are doing mini sessions? Oh, you oh. just have to read our minds. Discord. Well, it w- what it really boils down to is we're still on on Mondays. We're still on at the same time. Um, I don't. Are we? We'll let you know if we're skipping a week and we're not going to be active, right? Because we are skipping Halloween. Yeah, I'm skipping Halloween. And we are doing the next three Mondays. So we're skipping Halloween and we're skipping the Monday of Thanksgiving. That's the 21st. So we're skipping. Oh, wait. Are we? No, we're not skipping that one. The Monday after. Is that where we're skipping? Yeah, if we need to. We'll okay. skip the Monday after. Um, like quite frankly, we Cyber have decided Monday? even if we're going to start on November 7th on um, Petway's game. Right? So we're going to start him DMing with the mini session with um, Teo. So that's for sure on November 7th. And quite frankly, we will inform you every time what we're doing next week. We run out of game or, you know, Petway kills us all. Then we're just going to play some cool games. There's all kinds of really fun right. games we could play, some of which the audience can play as well. And we're just going to do that in between until we start again on in January. And I could probably give you the date now if I look. Yeah, Fair warning, if I, if I kill you all, that will not be the end. <laughs> no, everyone just will just be rolling new characters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's see. I've already oh, no. got mine ready to go. <laughs> um, actually, it should probably. What do with that? It would work better for me if it does everyone else if it's the third week in January because we're Girl Scout camping the week before, and I'm going to be dead. There's no way I'm going to come back after Girl Scout camp in so, the freezing cold uh, and be able to I DM. Go- I was going to bring this up. Uh, we, my wife and I, are in New Orleans the third week of January. You darn world travelers! I know. It's, Dave, I, oh, can I, we go to New Orleans the yes. third week in January? Yes. All right. We're gonna meet you there, so that's Greg. the 16th? Yeah, so 16th yes. is out, so 23rd then. Yeah. And I apologize. I think I did this to them last year, too. Uh, <laughs> we, Of course, last year we didn't even go on our trip because we both got COVID. So, uh, you know, who who knows what will happen. But, uh, all, all right, right. so delete delete the, the, the game on the 16th. Correct. We're going to start on the 20. 23rd instead. So we're going to start on the 23rd. Yes, Sorry. for the very new campaign. So there you right, go, Spike. Right. At. We just made decisions right now. 
And she's right. She's never been able to read my mind. I'm so sorry. I have trouble reading my mind. So just if that makes you feel any better. And it's mine. I have a character in my new book who actually has a voice that's talking to him. And sometimes I wish I did too, because it's a little more succinct that way. (laughs) (laughs) It's a a little simpler. Can I have a voice that just tells me what I should do right now? Oh. Um, How can you read the characters' backstories? We don't actually have them. So we're going to have to see, Dave, because they they all haven't written them. So I don't know if if Dave wants to offer it. Um, That's up to him. That is his writing. Um, I mean, but you can we... see Ashana's backstory. He's dead now. But... Right, that's what I mean, right? So <laughs> you want to see it? That's that's fine. I don't mind sharing that out. Yeah, so maybe maybe we'll do that, Vicky. We'll we'll have uh, Ashana's so at least you can uh, you can read his. I don't backstory. mind sharing Admar's either. You don't mind sharing, it? so that might be fun. So maybe we can do that next week or next season as well. We can start sharing some things, the things that we can share, because that's the problem, right? Some of them have backstories that are non-existent. Hint hint Zekiel, or ones that are um you know got to give too many secrets away like you know master faults was we couldn't have shared his that wouldn't have worked i would yeah well, and depending on what happens in the mini game i would probably need to go back and potentially make sure mine is still internally consistent <laughs> <laughs> you're breaking right. canon i was gonna say zaphin's backstory did not survive the first couple of episodes is Zafin going to end up with like cement shoes? Is he is he dead or what's going to happen? Is he to him? being taken for a drive? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, did we? Uh, would you like me to expand, Kelly? You can expand. So Zafin, uh, uh, it was decided late on that Zafin was uh, part of why Zafin had run away. Yes, there were gambling debts, um, but. Uh, Part of that was because he gambled the money that the queen gave him to start a thing, uh, which is why he now has to go back and actually run that thing. Mm. Um, so she's she's letting him live. Big as always. Yeah. What kind of thing? I don't thing? remember what the thing was. It was uh, Kelly mentioned something, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't okay. really I feel any like, better informed like, now before you started yeah. talking. <laughs> I suspect crypt- cryptocurrency is involved here somehow. It sounds about uh, right. He was a sure... character, okay? Right. <laughs> I'm sure that He's Bitcoin mining knows the whoever's involved is all I'm confident yes. of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, she hooked some, him up. You know, nice, you know, home for orphans type deal. Um, oh, so yeah. money laundering. Like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Right. Uh-huh. Like a, a, a long, it's a laundromat. It's a laundromat. Let's just so it's a or a car give, wash something. You know. To give you an business. idea of how far off the original backstory this is, the first line of my backstory was Zafin's home was destroyed and he became lost at sea. Uh, he was picked up huh. by pirates and forced into working for the crew. So first two lines, and that's huh. eventually how he ended up on the thing. I'm so, picturing yes, Obi-Wan my, coming in. It turned out my home was not destroyed. I wasn't from somewhere small. No, I was... Yeah. I'm picturing Obi-Wan coming in and talking about how the gambling debts m- metaphorically destroyed your home. Right. This isn't retconning yeah. in any way. No, <laughs> no, of course not. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so. awesome. But it was, I mean, it was but fine. Cause even Kelly even as a 12-year-old, that smacked a bullshit to me. So oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, so what I said was true from a certain, no, not from a certain point of view. You're yeah. just backpedaling. That's how you knew you were going to be a writer is because you recognized <laughs> BS retconning, even at 12. <laughs> okay, so here is the truth about this. And I'm going to tell you, it makes it worse. Uh-oh. Lucas actually planned all of that stuff out when I was, when I had just watched the, I don't know, it, the, the second movie had not yet come out. And I remember um, listening to a radio program where they were interviewing him and he was talking about um, the clone wars and he was talking about the, the, the fight between um, Anakin and um, uh, Obi-Wan. Uh, Kenobi on the volcano planet and and that's that was what happened to vader and why he was all you know messed up and then they still when they actually gave you that information made it seem like it was bullshit retconning right but it wasn't they just handled it so poorly 
So it really makes it worse, the fact that they didn't actually do that. But there it is. It, I'm personally disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, Friday Blue. I also did that. Except oh, yeah. I will say for some reason, the beginning of his thing, I, I never saw that. The only part of his history I saw was that his pirates, that the pirates that he was working for were all killed. And then he was seeking revenge for those pirates. And so that's why I had the bell. That's why, like, I tried. I tried so hard. In in Safo's defense, I come up with a thousand ideas a day. As all of you poor people realized as we went along in the campaign, it's the reason why we have so many side quests, because I have a thousand ideas, just as I'm sure all of us do. Yeah, that was the yeah one... that's the downside of the writer part. It's just that we all have a million ideas that we want to do. Yep. Yep. So. And Ask her how many video games she has actually finished. No, in my recent years, it's been all of them. Okay, in your recent years. But your your history used to be you would do all of the side quests. And you'd be like, I can't finish the main storyline because then the game will be over. It's yeah, true. Yeah. I did that for years. <laughs> I do that. that. Also, if you do all the side quests, you get to the last fight and you're just going to walk through everything anyway. Because well, you're now you're over leveled. You're giving me way too much credit. I play everything in story mode. Mm. Nowadays. Well, then even more if I tried to play game. your game, Dave, that Darkest oh, Night or dark. whatever that game is, I would be dead <laughs> in like three hours. I'd probably like try to pet the bear or something. I mean, really, it would. I would not last. It would not happen. I, I need story mode. I'm horrible at playing games. There is a good story mode to that game, I will say. She wouldn't be able to handle the rabbits. Hmm. You mean petting them? I pet all the rabbits. I yes. pet them very, very hard. <laughs> <laughs> With arrows. <laughs> no, you literally hold them right up to the camera and go, snap. It's it's awful. Oh, it's yeah, terrible. Watching, yeah. yeah. Watching all those people play like the Phasmagoria, I think we would have a blast playing that game. Oh, so well, Lord. I, I was going to save this for announcements, but we are off we'll do next it. week. Announce but oh. I will be playing Phasmagoria on Halloween night along with uh, someone else who comes to my streams a lot. So I've only played it once. She's never played it, so it should be pretty disastrous. Is it only two of y'all? Yeah, it's only two of us. Now, Greg played with me last year, mm -hmm. but I kind of forgot to ask him. Oh, it's all good. I've already <laughs> been He's like, I'm good. So I like that I guess, being my pants. What it, is it, it? Gave me, it gave me the opportunity. Phasmophobia. It's like Phasmophobia. a ghost, ghost hunting ghost hunting game. So you, yeah. you go into a haunted house with all the ghost measurement instruments and try to determine what is haunting the game and not let it kill you, which is exactly what they all did to me when... I don't they, remember you dying. I remember me Yeah, dying. I was the first one to die. I remember we were... They, Someone, everyone was like, "It's in the room. Get out!" And like, I was the last one out. You just see the hands come in front of yeah, you, yeah, and yeah. like, and then you're, and then and the you're sound is horrible. Oh no, and, I do remember this now. Yeah, and then you you're a ghost, know. and you're wandering around, turning on lights and messing with people because yeah, it's yeah. It's just Wayne, if you've never seen the game, um, you would love that game. It's, it's, it's right game, up your alley. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I'm gonna is earn our PG thirteen rating Xbox? right now. It is um, fucking terrifying. Not on PG thirteen. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you mean if the game is? Xbox. Yeah, the game is terrifying. No, I meant the the stream because we get one F bomb, oh, yeah, yeah. so there it is. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, it's. I think. I know most people paid on Steam, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's on Xbox. It's kind of weird because the whole point of it is that people call you to like investigate their haunting. So you go into their house mm -hmm. and it's always night and raining and the power goes out. And at a certain point, the ghost gets too mad at you and like slams Just all hunt. the doors and tries to hunt you. But you're trying to determine what ghost it is by by kind of it's almost like clue. You're like, OK, well, mm -hmm. it doesn't do this thing. So it's not this kind of ghost. OK, it doesn't get rid of this. But what's funny to me is once you determine what ghost it is, you're done. So you just say, oh, yeah, you've got a demon. Well, that'll be ninety five fifty, please. You don't get rid of it. You yeah. don't tell them what they're supposed <laughs> to do about it. You're you just, literally yeah. just telling them what they have and it's, then getting paid for that. It's called we we ID your ghost, and it's like so <laughs> like yeah, yeah. if the exterminator came your ghost anywhere, diagnosticians. That's yeah, right. nope. you got termites. Well, gotta go. Like that's basically <laughs> what it is. That'll be hundred dollars. Right, now, is this that, the one? Is this the one where some people play like out in the the van 
out in yes. front of the house. Yes. Yeah. 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 You have all this equipment and, and stuff that you can use, and like you can try to talk to the ghosts and ask them questions, and they answer you and, and stuff. I guess you can actually cool. you can actually talk into your mic, and the game will respond to yes. you say certain keywords. You have to say yes. their name. Some certain yeah. ghosts will respond to their yes. name, so sometimes yep. you'll say their name. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you haven't heard of that one, that's. But I think I think it's only on Steam. At least I've only seen people play it on Steam. That doesn't mean that's the only place it is. Yeah, your mic is always active, and it's all like locational sound. So you have to be yeah, yeah. physically near the other character for them to hear you, and the ghost is listening at all times. And oh, it's just, it is creepy as hell. It is. It is. Wild. It is. Yeah, it can be very creepy. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. We, we were downstairs once and we could hear our son upstairs going, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. And we're like, what the <laughs> heck is he doing? And he was playing that game. <laughs> right. Spoiler, Kenny was dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then so was Xander. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Awesome. All right. Is there anything else to share? So that's on at, um, so it's twitch.tv slash DH done, D-U-N-N. Yep, that'll be 8 o'clock next Monday. 8 o'clock Eastern, yeah. Yes. Anyone else, anything to share? Uh, Just that, uh, joking aside, I am very much looking forward to to running everybody and giving Kelly the chance to actually play uh, instead of having to, to run everything. And uh, and and I'm I'm very excited because it'll be you know just three sessions and then I can get, hand true. it back to her. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like being a grandparent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's right. <laughs> get us all hyped up on sugar and then hand yeah. us back to Kel. That's right. That's right. <laughs> or all kill right. you all. Now we have all new characters. Yeah. We'll I do. leveled them up 19 times. Now here they are. <laughs> 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 They're all gods now. <laughs> they all have sword of instant death. Right. <laughs> uh, and yeah, actually, don't forget, though, that you did level up. So everybody should be yeah, set up. I don't want to level yeah. up. Sorry. I got to level gotta up. do that and figure out all the things. And uh... I like being fragile. I like being close to death. The, the, the more hit points you get, like the... I, I, I like that like narrow edge, but also I'm just intimidated by starting in at like level five at a character I haven't played from one to four. Um, but oh yeah, I'll work it out. That's, just that's takes more research on the the cleric right now. I'm like, wait, what do I? What can I do? Yeah. How does this? How am I supposed to? Make, what kind of cleric did you? I take? can't help you. Yeah. What domain are you? Oh crap! Mm-hmm. You. I figured you'd ask right. me that. Hold on. Collections. <laughs> My characters. Uh, the view. I still have to make a. I still have to go on Hero Forge and make a thing. All right, where do I see my domain? Can you serve, can you serve Dionysus? <laughs> and what happens if Greg gets an even worse patron than the last time? It could happen. Some of those genies are kind of nasty. Kevin has told me, "Don't worry about it. I'm taking care of it." So. Uh, uh, yeah, but how did he say that? Yeah. <laughs> over t- over Discord, which is concerning. Because you can't read any sort of code or anything into it. It's just, just words. Um, forge domain. I don't remember why I chose it, but forge oh, domain. forge is really good. Interesting. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Oh, I think I. All right. Uh, oh wait, are I you a cleric? I thought you were a paladin. Are you no. a straight cleric? I went straight cleric. Oh wow. I figured we'd do a one for one swap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Why are you, you gonna really... miss us, Spike? It we're not going anywhere. You got you got really mad, uh, Dave, when the same episode before before you were even dead. Now the new cleric. Oh yeah, that's right. I know. <laughs> I know. I got replaced. I'm not even dead. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it was gonna take a little bit longer than that. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I hadn't done like the the the. the mini so i could take the pictures and everything I'm yeah like, yeah i got some time this this will be fine yeah yeah and we're like bye and he's like <laughs> <laughs> i was trying to wrap up the campaign or be through christmas and well, it was, it was my fault for all my technical issues that i had that week that sucked that wasn't your fault no no that was before and the technical so, issues are not your fault spike it um sort of um, that hasn't been entirely decided. 
I kind of think Zekiel may not go with them on the mini session. I'm not sure yet. I thought Zekiel was going to go. Uh, so I thought Zekiel was going to go. Um, Taya was going to go, obviously. Um, Kaz, or uh, yeah, Kaz. 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 Kaz is going to go. Gonna go. Um, and I'm pretty sure Val said she was going too, right, Val? Uh, I think I'm playing something else. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh, really? So Val's playing something else. Oh, yeah, because Val needs to go make a deal with Dad. Yeah. Right. I think so Val, Zekiel Val has should to go. go... Make a deal with Dad. Kevin, I think you should go for the same reason I'm going, so that we can learn our new classes. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad. That's not a bad point. Yeah. So Jess and I will be something different just for the mini episodes. By the way, Val's coming back next campaign. Right. And then um, I'm pretty Dolly. sure, and also um, Jess Astro is going to play something else because Dolly does not want to go home, oh, and where they're right. going is her home. Yeah, and Udmar will be going to Daggerford, um, so that would be perfect for uh, him and Val to to go together. I mean, there's the fighting pits. Odmar might want to, you know, do get some more fighting done. Make some more money. Chop it yeah. Well, he didn't care about the money, but he likes the fighting. <laughs> All right. Like yeah, that makes sense. I like the beat and the screaming. <laughs> that, is the, that is the best line. I like the screaming. All right. Yeah, no, it's all good. Spike Ant was having a panic attack. I mean, not a real one. <laughs> um, plus, let's face it, we're the fun part. I mean, who cares what the characters are? It'll be great. All right. Don't so y'all are awesome. Did anyone have anything else to share? We will soon yeah. enough, but I think we're there. Except the abandon, right? We can talk about abandon again. And Greg and Dave both have a story in that. Mm -hmm. So abandon is coming out, and that is November. No, it's not. December 13th. And my second book, The Healer, is coming out November 8th. So, that's very cool. Excited about that. We don't have an H&H &H charity stream date yet, do we? No, I did ask about that in the Discord, and then we will see how it's going. But I think Fair we enough. should probably just go to Two Dorks anyways. So, Shall we do that? We can do that. Yeah, let's rate them. Let's do it. All right. Yay, birthday presents! This will be Friday's birthday. Oh, nice. No. Oh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Early right. birthday. Let's go uh, raid the dorks. <laughs> I mean, it's his fault we do this. It is indeed. 100% his fault. You know what fault. Twitch was, man. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>